Hello and welcome to Street Stocks at Lanier. Because what better way to spend week 13 than throwing away all the progress you made last season in one race? <laughs> um, expectations are down through the floor into the Earth's core for this race, as you see them wrecking in practice. In the warm up, already ahead of time, we got nine incidents already for somebody there. <laughs> um, yeah, just gonna accept this for what it is. We got some slim pickings here on week 13, so I just I just want to race, man. I don't know, I'm the number one, so um, prepared to lose about 150i rating. But that is a-okay, because who gives a heck anyway. We qualifying now. Track is much faster, it feels like, compared to the uh, practice session I was in. About a tenth higher than my uh, optimal. That's pretty cool. There should be even more here. Alright, now we'll see what spot we get dumped from this race. Right now, P1 is the spot we could be dumped from, but we got lots of... Uh, lots of people that I know run the street stocks a lot, probably gonna kick my booty. <laughs> On time. And maybe actually in the race, too. But, I did this to myself, so... Nothing to complain about here. Just gonna do some driving. Pretty much the only time I get in the street stock is week 13. So... Not quite as uh, familiar as other guys are, who probably jump into it a lot. I actually uh, kept my brake bias at the default, which is the highest f to the front that it can get. Because I was getting plenty of rotation on brakes, and you only need to use a tiny bit, it feels like. Just get it rotated a little bit. Feeling okay. I'm sure I'll get dive bombed or something, but, you know, maybe I can, I don't know. I was going to say maybe I could defend against it, but then, like, they're going to be like, What, you blocking? Now I'm going to dump you. See, if you leave the bottom open, they're like, Well, you left the bottom open. I'm, I'm going to drive in there. If you protect the bottom, they're going to be like, Well, you're blocking, so I'm going to dump you. And if you drive your race and don't do anything and don't talk to anyone, they're going to say, Well, I'm going to dump you. So... That's what we're dealing with, I'm sure. We've got P3 right now. I knew the, th the number 3 was going to be real fast. He's one of the guys I know runs street stocks a lot, or at least I always see him in the street stock races whenever I'm in here. I believe I saw the 2 at uh, Arca Lucas Oil not too long ago. He was very fast there. Hopefully I'll get an inside start, but if I don't, whatever. Like I said, expectations firmly embedded in the Earth's core for this race, so. Hopefully we'll get going here soon. Just running laps, I'm basically doing the whole race here in the qualifying session. I don't think there's cautions, so might get a track blocker here, that'd be fun. Interesting. The track felt faster, 113. I don't know what it was during practice, but that still seems like pretty high track temp. And we got someone that's not here, so we're just going to have to wait the full 1 minute and 13 seconds that we have left. Got one questionable ping in here from Chandra from Australia, but hopefully it won't be an issue. Always kind of... Maybe you want to take a peek at that kind of thing on a short track, just because you're going to be real close to one another and could be um, more of an issue than usual. Um, all right. I don't recognize too many names. The names I do recognize, I kind of mentioned already. Versed against the Six in the past, who, and he's been very uh, aggressive but then i've had races against him where it's been pretty fun so i don't know what to expect from him 
Uh, just wish him a good race. Hopefully, he can have a good one. Went with 10 to 1 steering ratio. It's default 12. I just get extra turn. Whatever. I think the right rear is going to be more worn than the right front. The temperature right here seems to indicate that will be the case, even where after that Q session. So. That's the end of the session. P3. All right, P3. Got the inside. We'll have to look for the P2 starting driver to aggressively try to drop down there. You'll be lining up on the inside. Could be a case where I check up for him and get run over from behind. Who knows? I've seen it all, I feel like. I'll just search for search for some fun here. Um I've done a couple of Southern National Week 13 street stock races in the past, and those actually ended up being pretty fun for what they were. We'll see how Lanier goes here. Got some people leaving, oddly enough. That guy did not... Uh, he was uh, actually the guy we were, that was not here, I think, until late. And now he leaves, so I don't know. I actually almost backed out of this sign up because it looked like nobody was going to be in here and it was going to be like seven people signed up for a second and I was like well I don't mind to lose pick the field but that's kind of pushing it right there just having like seven people including myself but then a bunch of people I guess finished up the last race this goes off every 30 minutes and then poured in to do another one so ended up being about 30 something people signed up I think so I, I assume it split maybe once. So we'll see what happens. Oh, that one guy's back. 40 laps, that's pretty darn quick. That's a quick race right there. As if they needed more reasons to be aggressive. Man, that's going to go by in a flash. That's going to be like a 10 minute race, right? Wowzers. Alright, this is actually my first race after the new update here on Wednesday. All the text is orange now for some reason. Nine, what are you doing? We got people doing weird stuff already, I guess. I don't know. Hey, who wants to be up there? What's up, Sean? <laughs> yeah, sorry, boys. I was just trying to say hi to this guy. I raced with him in real life. What's up, Aiden? What's up, bitch? What's going on? Yeah, yeah my, my pedals, pedals are still fucked up. My gas yeah. pedal is my clutch, clutch, and my brake is my brake. One so, to go. Next time, uh, I'm accelerating with my foot and brake. My shit's all broken. What's going on? Got people running into each other before we even started rolling, I guess. But hey, Salazar, I think I uh, remember that name. Do you usually finish behind Aiden and Bottom? Starting a conversation right before the green. Hey man, that was a good idea. Let's go. Race three, and fucking green. hit the wall trying to avoid the red. Green flag, green flag. Bro, calm down. You accidentally won on Friday. That was weird. I did not, not get going at all. To go low around those lap cars. I guess the third year start maybe was the way to go. Hey, Aiden had to let you win one because you can't win them all, okay? I don't know. No, literally, he, he'd won every race he'd entered until, like, like last week when I accidentally took him out. That, that was my bad. My steering wheel came off mid-race. That was a bad one. <laughs> They're just having a full conversation just while the race is going on. Very casual here, I guess. Yes, it does count. It's week 13, yeah, but it does count. Going away in the lead, doing great, pitched it in deep, and then... Talking about different races while yeah. this race is going on. I give it up if my brick and clutch is confused and my wheel... I have to mute them. They're distracting. I'm not even participating in that conversation, and I'm a distracted. I don't know how people do it, man. But just kind of driving. Uh, watching a guy blink. Have not died yet, that's cool. A little bit of a check up there, but we are fine. A little bit of wall hit there by the leader, maybe. That's a new fastest lap for Anderson, 14.8. Two is all up just my rear end. 
but not much space out here, so what do I expect? <laughs> guys are a little all over the place up ahead of me. It seems like they're getting into the wall pretty routinely. Unless that's just uh, prediction code being incorrect. Pulled my desk toward me a little bit there. That's not ideal. Alright, stop down low. It's coming to my inside. I will let him go. Still there at the bottom. Slow car down low. Still there. Clear. Outside. Got some lap traffic now to contend with. Compromising outside, my entry, clear. but that is okay. Keep low. Outside is clear. Wow, lots of wall hits. That was a uh, fifteen point one. All right, that guy is drunk. We. Interestingly enough, we is the noise that the new new electric car makes. If you have seen that, it's a Porsche, I think, on here. It goes we at a very <laughs> uncomfortable frequency. I'm all about electric cars. I'm okay with them being in racing and everything, and I'm excited. Like, for, I like new technology and. That, that stuff always really interests me, and I'm not even too upset about, uh, you know, the thought that, you know, maybe we'll eventually lose the, uh, the growl of the motor as much, and we'll have a different set of sounds to listen to. However, <laughs> watching Nick's video on that car, that thing hits a frequency that just makes me want to rip my ears off. It physically hurts to listen to, especially when you start getting up to higher speeds. It just gets higher and higher frequency until it kind of like hits that part where your ear just starts ringing. It's not great, honestly. Um, so electric cars are cool. I like the development of technology, advancement and everything, but that's a... Uh, that's an interesting okay, one. The next car is Anderson. I love that we have an electric car here on our racing now, though. That's very interesting. I'm all about it. There's a lot of uh, road content I want to get, and I want to get further into road racing. It's just a matter of the cost. And that's one of them I would be interested in if I had all the money in the world. Check that out, because that lap time was 15.1. Very, uh, very unique and very cool. Just uh, maybe cover your ears, <laughs> wear your uh, earmuffs if you're going to be driving it, and not because it's cold. But we are driving pretty much the opposite of an electric vehicle <laughs> right now. We got the uh, hometown street stocks racing here and uh, we got a little bit of space in front of and behind at the moment I am starting to overdrive however not really uh, keeping up with how this thing's feeling so I might have to let a guy by here in a minute the six it looks like and that's a okay if he does get up here just trying to be smooth trying to Keep up with how this thing's feeling. Getting a little bit less grip all the time. Slow car down low. What are we going to see around this bend? A lot of nothing, looks like. Guess they got going. So far, so good, though. Hasn't really been that much of a mess. I feel like maybe I just... Uh, I expect so bad <laughs> out of this series. You know, maybe that's not fair. Because it's usually not as bad as I think it will be. Like, look, that guy even let me buy. What's champ? Street stocks for best series on iRacing? Clickbait? Thumbnail? Big views? It's <laughs> my new strategy for getting all the clicks.
so we're already on lap 27 here just completed 26 we got the guy catching up to us behind I'll try to hold on to it if he starts acting like he's gonna bump me out of the way though for fourth place like you can go ahead and have it I'm not even all that interested in being taken out actually Looks like he's about there. I don't think anybody in the series probably is going to try to pass on exit or anything. I just don't expect that. So hopefully he won't just immediately take me out. If he decides he wants to tap my rear end or something, that's when I will uh, let him on go. That will be him knocking on the door, and that will be me inviting me <laughs> inviting him in, if it comes to that. That four has no grip whatsoever anymore. They are pretty much drifting around the corner and blinking out while doing so, and a lap purse trying to take him out, so that's always cool. Outside. Don't know if this guy's turning down on me. It looked like he might have been for a second. Clear. We're good. So we'll see, maybe we can get by this guy ahead, but I'm sure he's not going to be too willing to give it up. I'm sure he wants his podium. So we'll see what situation arises. Well, that was at 15.2. Coming down to the end of this thing, though, like I said, very quick race. Just 40 laps, and the laps are 15 seconds. We've actually got a little bit of distance behind. That guy is just blasting the wall repeatedly. Yep. Funny how you can just do that. I mean, if any car is going to be able to do that and get away with it, I guess it's the street stock, so... I'll hold my tongue about wall hits and such. Disappointing that the uh, dirt the updates area. didn't seem to help out the wall riding all too much. But, I mean, it's there's still time. Maybe, uh, maybe it's better than it seems initially. I don't want to write it off immediately, but as of right now, it doesn't look so much like uh, it's making too big of a difference. I'll try to get this guy an exit. He's uh, getting real loose, losing a lot of speed. As he tries to exit the corner. For him to make a mistake, maybe. Two more. Let's go. Keep low. Outside. Clear. Two to go. I did not want to turn down on him there, but he's entering here. Still there. Hold your line. White flag this time. Keep low. Still there. Well, uh, this is getting more interesting than I wanted here. Bad luck, mate. I don't know how that's like barely happening. You just had to fucking hit me, didn't you? Hey, Bryce, I understand blocking, but if you're gonna stop dead in the middle of the track between three and four, you better goddamn well expect the bumper. You dumb fuck. You went into the corner four lanes down, slowed down like crazy, and then didn't expect the bumper? Who are you playing? Yeah, you're right from professional. Yeah, so that's like exactly what I expect. I'm just glad that I... Uh, <laughs> I was able to gather it up. Lost two spots there at the end, but who cares. Forget the fact that I... was patient passing the floor, but whatever. I just watched and saw it. It's moving the floor. Oh, bad. <sighs> yeah, whatever. The expectations were in the Earth's core, and we actually only reached a couple feet down under the ground, so... Oh, what'd you say? What'd you say? We're on the next street,
Oh, he's talking to someone else. I got you. All right, so we will check out uh, what happened out here. Got a top five still. Probably just going to lose a couple I rating. Depending on the strength of field here, which I assume is not very high, but... Not catastrophic! Hooray! There's the 8 turning down on the 13. 13 was there. I think they were there for a while. Yeah, look, they're trying to make a clean pass. And they were there. 8 decided that uh, they were not there, though. Just 4. Chewing up the right rear, I assume. Considering how loose he was getting later. Wall hits. Gonna see plenty of those, I imagine. We're on lap 12 already. Wow. Alright, 9 just shoves them in the wall. 12's getting loose and gets finished off. Do we have a bad rejoin? I think they had some broom on the track, actually. Nine's dirt track in it. Dirt street stock. At least for one corner. Twelve is a lap car just absolutely these turning down. And the eleven. So they rejoined okay and then later did that, I guess. Two cars coming together there. Fifteen has decided that they want to take it out on them. So Eight is laps down, and that's the... I don't know. What is this here? Eight's way too far down the track. Fifteen definitely didn't give him any room, though. And uh, that obviously is going to solve a lot, running into the back of him. Was he satisfied with that, or is he going to do even more? Oh, no. Got to show how tough he is. Wow. You got him. And looky there, look what it got you. Because you couldn't just let it go. Now the 8's mad at you. So then you lose more time. Just nothing has been solved here. We've created more problems and <laughs> crafted no solutions. 16 in the wall, 13. Powering on after getting turned down into early in the race. With no more than what it was a uh, wall tap there. Over halfway through this thing, the six rearing up, ready to take me out last lap. Seven's uh, number looks like a bendy straw. Steam's gonna be, whoa, really sideways. Keep your foot in it, I guess. And 17, a little on the wall. I mean, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. It seems like that's what I'm always saying about these. It could be, too, that you get, you know, not just the street stock guys like like me coming in here. Week 13. So you get less of the, you know, dump first, ask questions later kind of uh, drivers. So maybe you see a little less mess than you would on uh, average. Who knows? Ten in the wall, probably looking at the three since he was right real close to him. Who ended up winning this thing? The two made his way forward. Well done there. Because, uh, wow, they were going for the takeout on the final corner, too. Is it because there was revenge brewing? Did he pass him with some force? Let's see. Ten car ruining uh, the momentum. Two gets him on exit. Looks good so far. Sure looks like everything's good right there. Lap 39, I think, or lap 38, I guess they're on. I don't know, looks like a clean pass by the two. Two clears them. And then uh, I guess they just decided they wanted to go for the takeout. In the final corner. After hitting the wall, you can hear them gas it up. And the two had to overdrive it to stay out of the killing range. So, uh, we witnessed an attempted murder, but no can do for the three. And, uh, Flex Seal just running over the back of the 14. 
Because they have decided that 8th place is worth making an enemy for. And now they're showing their displeasure in the Street Stock series. Everyone's always mad here. Everyone's always showing how displeased they are. And that'll do it. So let's, uh, since we didn't see it for some reason, we'll check out me getting it. So, for desperately trying to hold on, I was just kind of trying to be patient and waiting for him to make enough of a mistake for me to get by. He was like driving way up the track because he had no grip whatsoever anymore. I was kind of loose there too, at least I didn't get run over. It's blinking, that doesn't help obviously. And uh, last lap, looks like we're good, looks like we're going to get the spot and the 6 just says, it's going to run into you. Like you said, it was like barely a tap, so. Really, I don't know why it sent me around. I guess I was just loose enough already. I don't even think he was on the gas, was he? I don't even think he was on the gas. He just rolled through, so. I mean, he could have not gotten into me, but it's not like he gassed it up to take me out or anything, so I'm not too upset about that. Is what it is. Like I said, kind of what I expect from the series. And actually, oddly enough, it didn't even get me an out of control, even though I had a broken car at the end. So, whatever. That's fine. Still got a top five. So, probably gonna lose about 12 I rating or something. But somehow, gonna gain some uh, safety rating in a street stock race. So, all right, that'll do it. That's uh, what this looks like <laughs> linear in the street stocks. Uh, at least for today, I think this is one of those series where it. The track changes every day, so uh, I don't know. By the time this says get this goes out, probably not even going to be here anymore. But I uh, hope you enjoyed anyway. Sweet stocks, expectations in the core of the earth actually ended up kind of surface level. I'll take it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>